A greenhouse is one of the best places to grow medicinal cannabis. And if we take a look at this greenhouse right here, we're looking at the third crop that's been grown in this greenhouse this year. They started about the end of May and put little cuttings out, you know, nice little cuttings out here and uh, harvested, harvested again. And now they're about to harvest the third time and it's the third week in September. Well, how did they do it? It was real simple. Since they had this structure here, they just darkened it out and that made 12 hours of complete darkness. And they did that, grew the plants up about so high, harvested them and then did it again. And like I say, now they're in the third time. Let's take a few look, uh, a close look at this little greenhouse. If we look at the outside skin, we can see it's plastic and it's got a UV inhibitor in it, but it's also covered with this stuff right here. And this is this uh, aluminet, it's called. And what it does is like an aluminum net, just like the name says. And what it does is it reflects the sun or reflects the heat and it lets 30% of the sunlight through. So it cuts the sunlight, but the big thing is, is it reflects the heat here. And this stuff's pretty inexpensive, $1.50 for per linear foot. And you can get it, I think it comes in 10 or 12 foot uh, lengths. Okay, now this stuff here, the door is actually a bug screen. And it also diffuses the light so it doesn't get too, uh, you know, too bright in here. But the biggest thing is it does, is it doesn't let too many bugs in. You know, it's real fine, it could be finer, but uh, then it wouldn't breathe very well. But it doesn't let too many bugs in, and that's a good thing. And right around the edges, you can see it's uh, fastened with a little bit of Velcro. And that Velcro was just stapled on, so it's, it's real easy to apply. And then let's just open the door here. We just throw it up on top. Now let's take a look at the, uh, how this was framed up and everything. If we look down here at the base, we see that it was framed up with uh, two by tens. And these two by tens go all the way around and they're perfectly square. That's important that it's a perfectly square rectangle because everything, all the overhead joists, or all, all the overhead, not joists, but uh, uh, arcs will fit in properly. Now, if we um, go inside the greenhouse, we'll uh, see a few more things. And on the inside, you can see they've got this uh, uh, weed barrier. It lets the water, water go through, but the weeds don't come up, and that's a good thing. So let's take a look inside. Let's take a little look and see what we got. I think I'm going to get down here so we can point things out. We've got a nice big vent fan hanging up here. And then we've got little circulation fans. There are several of these along the roof, or along the ceiling, excuse me. And a little dehumidifier right here. This thing's just cranking, the, pulling the water out of the air. And then on the floor, we can see it's got a drip irrigation system down here. And everything's got a a saucer underneath it here. Now, the way they water these geopots or smart pots, they've got kind of a fabric outside and they, they breathe air through the outside and they use quite a bit more water than a, a rigid side pot, you know, a plastic pot. And what happens is they water, he waters for five minutes, lets the water stop for 30 minutes, waters again for 10 minutes. That way everything soaks in real well. And if everything drains through too fast or the water drains through too fast, it's caught in the saucer long enough to wick back up into the soil. And that's a real smart way to water. And then also he watches several times a day, he wants to make sure that it doesn't get too hot in here. That's what the um, aluminet on the outside of the shell is for. It really keeps it a lot cooler in here. 